What's up guys? So I got a quick tools in action video on one. Pretty cool scenario using a snap-on tool. Check it out right after this. All right, guys, so I got the tripod set up, and what we got here, we got a hose down under there that's leaking, and I want to change it out, but the thing is, I don't want to waste any coolant. The guy had a coolant flush done about a month ago, um, you know, and I just, I don't, I'm trying to do this without, uh, with spilling as minimal coolant as possible, so it's actually that, that hose there. The one that the light's on with that angle, you can see it under the bottle. So the tool I'm going to set up is going to be the coolant barrier by Snap-on, the SVTS2000. Here's the kit. Pretty much has uh, the pieces in it. You got the discharge hose, and then the vacuum, and then the coolant coupler that will go on there you can see I already got the coupler on here from the kit the blue point kit for the reservoir tank but I am gonna remove the tank so I can get down in there better and uh, get this thing set up so hang tight all right guys so I got it mostly set up here basically hang the tool I got the one end on the degas bottle or reservoir tank and then I loosened the bolts took the bolts out set them up there because I'm gonna be moving this tank out of my way so I could get down there and get to the hose and the tool will still work as long as it's hooked to the bottle basically then I got the discharge pipe in a bucket in case it's over full at, at all it'll put the coolant in the bucket that way I could I don't waste it I could when I'm done I could put it back in there so basically hook up shop air It'll create a vacuum, hold a vacuum for it, and I should be able to pull that hose off by spilling minimal coolant and uh, have the other hose ready and pop the other hose on there without wasting coolant. So we'll see if we can do this. Get this bottle out of my way, get this thing turned on, and uh, try to do this without wasting a bunch of coolant. Up shop air, open the valve, it'll start to create a vacuum. I don't know if you guys are picking that up. It'll start to create a vacuum on the gauge. You guys can see. Get this bottle up out of my way. All right, guys. So I got I got my hose ready right here. I got everything all hooked up. The light down there. I pulled back the clamps on there. Uh, pretty boring stuff. Just figured pull those back real quick. Get it ready to twist off of there. I'm gonna turn it on and uh, let it create some vacuum, and then try to switch this thing out without dropping a bunch of coolant. So I just pack it back on again, create a vacuum.
You guys can see it's starting to pick up some coolant in there because this thing's full. You see it sucks it up through there and then it puts it in the bucket for me. If I would have dropped it down some, it would just be sucking in the air. But since it was so full, it's taking in some of the air. So let's get this hose off. You want to try to pay attention to the direction of the flow to where when you pull it, whatever coolant's left in the hose, the tool has time to evacuate the hose so a bunch doesn't fall. And I believe it's probably going up that way to the bottom, so I'm going to pull the bottom one first. Let's see what happens here. You want to go slow to let the, let the tool do the work. All right, got the bottom one off. Didn't even drop one drop down here. Try to get the top one off. Oh, start to throw it down here. There we go, loose. All right, here's the top one, got the hose off. I gotta get you guys down in here. So, I got the hose completely off right now, and you can see there's not even coolant coming out of there. So it's hold, holding the vacuum, holding the coolant inside there. We'll get the new hose ready. Push it on there. Once I hooked it up, it stopped sucking in the coolant. It's just sucking in air now, so it held all the coolant in there for me. And then uh, I'm going to just snug these plants down real quick. So I got them pretty much snug down. Got the clamps on there snug down where they gotta be. You see that one and that one. And then basically just turn off the tool. It'll drop all the coolant back in there. And then it collected it here. So I'll just pour this coolant back into the bottle. That way we lost no coolant. So, I'm gonna get ready and tighten up these clamps real quick. I'll get right back with you. Got the hoses all clamped down. Get this bottle back in place. All right, guys, so I got the bottle back down in the place. Let's pretty much disconnect the shop here. Disconnect it from the bottle. I like to pull the discharge hose off. Make sure all the coolant's down in the bucket.
and then I'll just take what's left here and pour it back in the bottle through a funnel. It saved all that coolant for me. Put that back in the system. Filling the bottle right back up to where it was. And that's it. So that's it guys, quick tools in action on the snap-on coolant barrier. Uh, was able to change that hose with minimal coolant loss by holding a vacuum on the system. Tool works great. I mean for, you know, if you're doing a quick, it works on lower radiator hoses. You know, you just gotta give the tool time to, you know, pick up all the coolant, sweep the coolant out of the hose and all that stuff. You know, if you're patient with it, you got everything set up correctly, it's a great tool. Especially in a scenario like this where the guy just paid for a coolant flush like a month back and I don't want to waste coolant. I didn't feel like doing a drain and fill on it, re-burping the system and all that stuff. You know, getting all the coolant down into a bucket, change the hose, then put all the coolant back in, you know, whether it's through the other thing, you know, just a quick one. You do them on, it works with the coolant temperature sensors, pulling it out without losing coolant, lower radiator hose, heater core hoses, you know, every, anything pretty much except the water pump, which is the hardier coolant system, it's not going to work for things like that. But it's a great little tool. You guys haven't seen this one, check it out. Saves coolant, you know. So here's the part number again. Here's the tool. It's the SVTS 2000. And that's pretty much what it comes with. The little valve, hose, the adapter, connector for the, the bottles or radiator, and then just a pretty much a garden hose for the discharge line. So, all right guys, so yeah, quick tools in action for you. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. If you guys got this tool, let me know how it's worked out for you. I've only used it maybe about three, four times, and so far it's done what it's supposed to do. Save, save coolant, you know, not waste coolant, end up cooling on the floor and dripping down the side of the block and all that stuff just to change a, a simple part. So I think it's a pretty neat tool. You know, it, it, it does what it says. So as always, like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget about the tool giveaway. Leave the card for you guys right here. We'll catch you in the next one. Signing out.